Oh, it's the sound of nightmares. What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. In the last episode, we made it to the Arctic base, and we turned on the lights. So now we can see everything. And now it's time to figure out what that sound is. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little crack here next to the bookcase. You can actually push this thing. In the opening demo, as soon as you get to this part of the game, it actually shows you this. That's how I found this out. Nice camera angle, and... You were the cause of that obnoxious noise. You know what? See you later. Anyway, yeah. When I was stumped and did not know what to do, I watched the opening demo, and the demo changes depending on where you are in the game, and it actually showed Claire pushing the bookcase. That is another example of how this demo is amazing, and it gives players hints on how to play the game properly, and how I never paid attention. <laughs> But, anyway, we're here in the Arctic base, lights are on, let's finish up this place, and uh, I actually really like that letter. I don't exactly agree with the thought of the only way to please Sir Alfred is to kill yourself, but, hey, there's a switch in here, let's press it, and... What on earth is back here? I love that. I love it. I love that his screams can be heard even in the inventory screen. I love the impending sense of doom you get when you see that thing. Because you know you're going to fight it. You know full well when you see something that horrific, you're going to fight it. Oh, hey, look, a key <laughs> on the bottom of a potted plant. <laughs> <laughs> These items get they get sillier and sillier as the game goes on. Oh my god, a potted plant! Do I have to like put it in a keyhole or something? Oh, the key's on the bottom. Oh no, no, don't you dare! Oh, you can shake out of that, and I don't think anything's on my back. No, there isn't. Okay. Yeah, getting those getting those eggs on your back not a good time because they can hatch whenever. Like, if you transition to another screen, they can actually hatch on your next screen. So, uh, be ready for that, and if you actually shake the control stick, press a bunch of buttons enough while they're attacking you, you can actually shake them off before they can lay their eggs on your back. That sounds... that sounds so weird. But, uh, hey, we got a brand new key. It actually comes over here, because there's no other place that we can use a key. This is the only place that needs a key immediately. And if you're thinking that, uh, room straight across from this, where the zombie was, you know, banging on the door there, there is no way to open that. And in fact, if you aim on that zombie, you actually can't target it, so you know he comes later. And, uh, oh, hey! It's my favorite room! Claire! It looks like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Great news! And take a look at that. It's a digging vehicle. If we break the wall with it, we might have a chance. Okay, let's do it! It's all my fault. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape from here. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. <sighs> okay. 
Steve! Don't forget. We'll get out of here. Together. Steve, you dolt! You got distracted by me! <laughs> I mean, I know Claire's good looking, man, but you gotta focus! You literally looked over in her direction and you're like, Oh wow, that's what a woman looks like. Damn, girl! And then you blew it up! Got gas everywhere! You idiot! <laughs> Seriously, where did this relationship come from? I mean, it's not blooming into anything. Right now, it's just Steve, like, kicking her, kicking dirt on the floor, saying, I kinda, kinda sort of like you, okay? Mmm, okay. Please like me! And you done and got gas all over the place! We need this area! Well, now we need to figure out how to uh, close the gas valve. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, if you didn't like Steve before, this is a very good reason. He just all of a sudden has... He doesn't need anybody, but apparently he needs some clear Redfield, all right? Uh, now, we now have a brand new mission. If you go into that other room, uh, in the other side of where we came into the gas room, the valve handle. The valve handle is very special in that it only has a square shape. We need to change that into an octagon. Why do we know that? Well, if you actually go up to the gas valve, it actually has an octo-shaped hole that you need to put something into. And while we were exploring earlier, and I can't believe I missed this, it really was that dark, there is actually a metal cutter right here. Because of course. You know, why wouldn't there be? Actually, it does make sense more in this context than it does in the other context. But I guess that was a 3D recreator. This, it's actually made for like diamond cutting and everything else like that. So it does make sense here. Put it in there and boom, there we go. We got the Octo, the Octa valve handle. And now that's the only reason we need to be in here. And like I said, this guy, you can't aim on him. So he's never going to break out. That's a good sign on knowing where scenes are going to happen. So that's going to happen way later. Look at all those zombies that spawn down there. It's like as soon as the gas opened up, it's like all the zombies decided to get up out of the woodwork, I guess, or out of the ice. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, can we have uh can we have frozen Neanderthal zombies coming out and then they discover fire? Mm, I'm trying to think. We're actually, believe it or not, we are coming up to the end. As soon as Steve absolutely fucks up as he normally does, the screw up. We can actually get ready to go. Uh, okay, not poisoned. Not poisoned. That's good. See, look at that poison powder. Uh, let me make a quick stop here. There we go. You didn't need to see that. Now, we will say, go ahead and save. There's two places that I would suggest you save. You can either do it here, or you can do it right before we move on to the next area. But for now, let's take out these zombies. And really the only thing we have to do is make it back to where we can turn off the gas, use that valve handle, and then we're done. The entire Arctic base is finished. I know. Came and went. Just all of a sudden, boom, we're done. That means we can finally get out of here. We don't have to deal with zombies anymore. We can we can actually escape, you know, grab another plane, head to a uh, warmer climate, maybe Hawaii. Hawaii's looking pretty good nowadays. Hopefully we don't get in the midst of a tropical storm, but you know what? Nah, it'd be fine. You know, some quick R&R. &R. We don't have to look for Chris immediately. I mean, uh, if he calls, I'll just say, hey, I'm just lounging here on a sandy beach. You can come and get me. I mean, you know where I am, but uh, still trying to find you. Sorry, brother. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> it actually is big. Oh, we can't leave Steve behind. Why not? All right, fine. Here we go. Here's the octa-shaped hole. In case of emergency, use it. Get rid of that gas. <sighs> We're safe now. Think again, Claire. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time! You again!
Well, that was certainly a thing. Now, do not talk to Steve. The thing you want to do is get Alfred's sniper rifle. Now, when you pick up this sniper, ri sniper rifle, excuse me, you actually trigger the cutscene to leave. So there are two ways that you can leave, so I would suggest, if you need to, go and save. When you come back, pick up the sniper rifle, or go talk to Steve if you want to absolutely cripple yourself with this. But, oh my god, we get a sniper rifle! This is awesome! Claire! What are you doing? Let's go! Are you ready? I'm gonna bust through that wall! Go for it! Right. Claire, maybe we can escape through there. Come on, let's go. Come on! Finally, we can get out of this insane place! Okay, be ready. Getting to a good part. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Don't tell me what to do! I'm clear right for you! Okay, let's go! Come on, let's go! What, are you scared? Slap is just what Steve needed! And you know what I needed? An awesome boss fight! This is Nosferatu! He is my favorite boss fight in the game for two reasons. One, he's got an amazing battle theme. And two, this boss fight can be as easy or as hard as you want it, and you get rewarded for it. And what do I mean by that? There are three ways to kill this guy. Oh! That was almost instant death! Be very careful, he can knock you off this platform, instant game over. There is poisonous gas being spread all over the place. To use the sniper rifle, you can use the L button to zoom in, and that is actually a godsend. A lot of the times when I played this, I didn't know that happened, so I was essentially no-scoping him. But another reason I like Nosferatu, again, with those three ways to kill him, the sniper rifle. If you aim carefully, you can get critical hits if you aim for his heart. The other way to kill him? I'm, I'm not actually going to mention, but of course, just like every other boss in this game, pump it full of bullets and he dies. And you know what? Just the setup is really cool. Make that three reasons. You're on top of this deck, and you have to fight a monster through fog. So you can't see him. He's got a hell of a reach, and he can knock you off the platform for instant death, so it's really easy to die. But then again, it's actually pretty easy to survive and fight this guy. Now, there are ammo, there is a handgun ammo in one of the corners, there's a first aid spray in one of the other corners, and I'm poisoned, God damn it! Actually, you know what, that's kind of okay, I can show something off later. So, poison is not the end of the world, but just keep a watch of your health, and if you start limping, stay away from Nosferatu, because he will kill you! You also need to be careful going in for close range attacks because he can pick you up and throw you behind him. Yes, just like a Resident Evil character in a key, he will toss you over his shoulder and deal a lot of damage and can also throw you off, throw you off the side. But, uh, you know, hit him enough, 
And he's gone. Love this boss. Are you all right? Claire! You're alive! I'm sorry. I failed you. Don't worry about it. Let's go. <sighs> I swear I'll protect you next time, Claire. Snowmobile over there! Perfect! We'll be able to ride right over to the Australian base with this! Yeah! Let's go! I won't forget about this, Claire. Hold on, I gotta see this one more time. Woo! Go Nosferatu! So technically the episode's over, but I wanted to show off the two other ways that you can kill Nosferatu. I mentioned that you get rewarded. The way you get rewarded is actually special cutscenes for killing him different ways. The first way is just, you know, pump it full of bullets and he dies. Oh yeah, getting ready for a fight. I love Claire when she's set on killing a monster. So the second way to kill Nosferatu, probably the easiest way, is with the sniper rifle. You only get seven shots. Make him count. When you see a blood splatter come out of his heart when you shoot him, that is a critical hit. That's the way you know you did a lot of damage. And... He also stumbles if you hit him in the heart, if you get a critical on him. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. If you deal enough damage using only the sniper rifle, you actually get a special cutscene for killing him, and I think... Oh! I think it's one more. Come on, one more shot. 
Oh, almost. Uh, how many bullets do I have left? Not many. I've got you now. God, I love Claire. Okay. Yeah, if they ever made a game with Leon and Claire again, that would just be like my zen, because those are my favorite characters. Anyway, the next way to kill Nosferatu, the hardest one. Like I said, you could choose your difficulty. You can use sniper rifle for easy, regular bullets for normal, and then hard mode. Oh my god, knife only. You need to kill Nosferatu with only the knife, which means you have to get up close, you need to slash his heart, and you can get criticals. You can ah. You can actually get critical hits on Nosferatu using the knife. What I would suggest is you actually have to stand back just a little bit a ways. As soon as you start hitting him, he is actually going to spray poisonous gas on you. His body is entirely filled with gas. Whew, that was close. But you need to stand about a little far away in order to get that good knife hit. Jeez, that was close. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, he can also hit you from behind him, because he can hear you! Oh, here. When you make him stumble, if you- Oh, wow, I'm dying. If you actually manage to make Nosferatu stumble, you can circle around him, get in position for the next knife shot. Technically, you can beat this guy in, like, five seconds. If you know where and when to hit him with the knife. Because if you hit him while he's stunned, you won't be able to do anything. You'll just do normal damage. But as soon as he stands up straight, hit him with a crit, he'll back down. And being able to do a knife run is is already amazing. So if you can do this, like, perfectly, I implore... Not implore you, but, you know, I congratulate you. This is a really tough part of the fight. And there's another stumble. I wonder if I can get him. No. Let's back away. There we go. And by the way, if, in case you're wondering, yes, this did take a long time. This was actually post me. This fight is deadly because you have to get close to him. There is no way to hit him from afar, which means, more often than not, you're going to get picked up. You're going to get thrown off the edge. And uh, it's not a fun time. But like all the other kills, you get rewarded. If you kill him the normal way with a bunch of bullets, you know, you get to continue with the game. Then with the sniper rifle, you get the amazing Claire Redfield shooting this guy in the heart and making his heart explode with a sniper round. So just imagine what's going to happen if we stab him a lot with a knife. What is she going to end up doing? Well, let's just say this is what I imagine Claire is thinking about whenever Steve tries to put the moves on her. Because, uh, I kind of have the same feelings, especially with a knife. Make it happen, Claire. I've got you now. <laughs> Alright, Nosferatu, I got you. Never mind. Okay, that last time was a fluke. Damn it! Stop! I really need to stop dying right at the beginning, and I'm dead already. Later! Not again! Shit! You know what? I'm really sick of dying really quickly. Fa. Come on. Nope! Wow. This is bad. Oh, no. Wow, what a shot! Oh, God. No. I foresee in my future death. A very avoidable one! <laughs> Hi, Steve. 
Oh, that's a, uh, yep, that's a, oh, wow. Nice shot. Up, oh, up! Oh. <laughs> really? Okay, I think I got him this time. I managed to get a few hits on him. Kinda hard to, that's bad! Fuck! <laughs> Good. Good, got a critical on him. Now I can finally take him out. So, all right, I'm still alive. I didn't think I was that close to the edge, but you know, maybe I was. Oh, you bitch! That sucks! That was unfair. You have already killed me. All right, later, Claire. What are the odds that I'm going to be killed by something off screen? Oh, this won't be enough, will it? Shit.